All new tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 6, headbutting in Albany has finally come to an end. New York's legislative leaders introducing a handful of agreements with Governor Cuomo today. Among the most pressing issues, extending rent controls for millions of tenants and providing $250 million in state aid to private schools across the country. Not included, a plan to give Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown control of public schools here in Buffalo. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins here with more on that tonight. Yeah, well, it looks like Mayor Brown won't find himself in charge of schools, at least not anytime soon. Brown has said before he would take over only if that's what the community wanted. The legislation, however, introduced by Assemblywoman Crystal People Stokes and co-sponsored by Senator Tim Kennedy, called for a plan similar to the mayoral control that happened in New York City schools in recent years. It all stems from the position the Buffalo School District finds itself in with failing schools and a board that can't seem to get along. I talked to Senator Mark Panapinto today who was not on board for complete mayoral control. Rather, he wanted a bill that would introduce community input to solve the district's problems. And he also tells me he's not surprised that People Stokes' plan was not included in Albany's package today. The bill did never got any traction because there really wasn't a, uh, a grassroots support for the mayor to take over uh, the city of Buffalo schools. Parents, teachers, the Board of Education, administrators, good government people, we're all against it. Uh, and so I think that, you know, without that kind of, you know, grassroots support, the idea of mayoral control in the city of Buffalo just didn't take off the ground. Now, session should have ended last week. The plan introduced today has not yet been approved, rather postponed for tomorrow. Tonight, we're we will hear from the District Parent Coordinating Council and why they're not discouraged, rather still hopeful that one day soon they could see mayoral control of city schools. Joe Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.